Ranil Vikramasinghe took over Sri Lanka when it was at the peak of a chaos. And Ranil Vikramasinghe and our OPS has the same corollary. They don't win when they stand in the election. And when the country or in the state is in the crisis, they come inside and take over the power. So I was looking into his horoscope. His horoscope, Saturn is in Simma. So for politicians, we never get the date of, tire, date of birth or the time of birth. Most probably these days through Wikipedia, you can get the date of birth. When it comes to time of birth, you never get it. So in general, what we do is we look at the horoscope from Saturn. It will give you a perfect, perfect, perfect uh, reading about the entire things. If you see from Saturn, many planets are in 6th and 8th house. Which means for Ranil Vikramasinghe, it would have been a really challenging career had he been born into some other family or some other place. Why Ranil Vikramasinghe could grow but could never achieve the peak even though he was born with a silver spoon? The first instance. He belongs to a very powerful family who were entrepreneurs, who were very rich and very influential. His uncle was none other than S.R. Jayavardhane and he was the pivotal man to put Ranil Vikrama Singhe into the politics. And slowly he was like working his way out and all his friends, one of his important friend was uh, Chandrika Kumaratunga's brother Anura Kumaratunga who became a strong opposer for, uh, for Ranil Vikramasinghe. So, Ranil Vikramasinghe's major post came when Premadasa was assassinated. So, like OPS and EPS of Tamil Nadu, what happens is he comes to power when there is a, a problem in the leadership, when there is an assassination and when there is a crisis. He can be called as a crisis man. You can pull him inside, make him as a leader. He'll stay there. The strange thing about Ranil Vikramasinghe is, whomever he becomes very close, they become his enemy. For instance, he was instrumental in Sri Lankan growth because he opened Sri Lanka to West, which bought him a lot of money, financial growth for Sri Lanka. He was instrumental in strengthening the army and beautifully what he did, he became very, uh, very friendly with Prabhakaran. He could see what was going into LTT, the discord, the apprehensions of Karuna and the rebellion within inside. But ironically, it was Prabhakaran who was instrumental for the failure of Ranil Vikramasinghe and the success of Mahinda Rajapakshay. If you see that same Rajapakshay was like the man who wiped out LTT out of Sri Lanka. So now what it all shows. Yes, now also Ranil has taken when Sri Lanka is at the peak of the economic crisis. So how long Ranil Vikramasinghe stay? Ranil Vikramasinghe will stay till the crisis in Sri Lanka is there and till all the upheavals are there. Once things become all right, when it is, uh, when it is perfect and he will have to come down and there will be a force to pull him down. And this is very, very ironically, very difficult because he will be the man who will sow the seed for the growth. All the reforms, all the opening to the western world, economy making it really good, opening up the Sri Lankan economy and bringing in the funds, everything he would do but somebody would enjoy the peak. That is what is Ranil Vikramasinghe. So what to do astrologically? Sir, you don't have Chatru Jaya. The enemies, the friends become enemies. Uh, that could be seen with even Gamini Disnayake who were like opposing him to the nail who were once very close probably as a friend as a colleague so you have to do lot of rituals for Subramanya Swami as Chatru Samhara then only the power will increase you really need to clear the negative planetary position and people ask me yes can you clear it of course of course you can really clear it use astrology use the time factor make sure that you take up the position in a very good time do a lot of chatru samara you can identify your enemy because you have mitra chatru 
friends turning into chatrus so do lot of chatru samhara and really really when this two things the time alignment and the ritual alignment can really make ranil vikram singh a good leader and who can lead sri lanka for a long period of time otherwise it's breaks and pieces and always somebody at a, is at the back of him who is not going to make him rule in a very uh, easy manner or to really bring out his capacity so this is jayshree astrologer if you like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you